Right, hello everybody. Uh, we're doing another video today just because I feel like uploading again. Um, I was messing around with projectiles using the projectile pressure plates and I found some interesting things. Now, I don't know if these have been documented. I didn't do any research before this. However, I just wanted to get it out there. So if anybody sees this and they haven't seen it before, they can use it. So, this was the original arrangement I had. Basically, it's just a row of, uh, row of super darts, whatever they're called. Like the jungle darts. And those are leading into pressure plates. And you can see there's different types. So there's ones close, there's slightly further away, the furthest away. And then there's also ones the same distance far away. But then also on the floor instead of the wall. So I put these all together. Um, and I fired them. You won't be able to see much. I'll, uh, I'll slow down the footage. But basically, I mean, you can clearly see that the top two are way faster than the bottom two. But there's an interesting property. Oh, good. But there's an interesting property uh, about the bottom two, which I found out, so I'm going to take you over to the next demonstration. Now this is, um, basically, it's the same as the bottom two here, so I've got one on the, like, they're all the same distance away from the darts and blocks. However, the top and the bottom are on the top and the bottom of the block, and then uh, the middle one is on the, the wall or the side of the block. And if I shoot this, you can see just about that the uh, middle lane is actually slightly further behind which means that if you can see the slight difference in a uh, in the, the range of the, the pressure pad you know it shows that the pressure pad actually triggers as soon as the projectile hits it so for this you know it has to go through more than half a block before it hits the middle one whereas the other two are almost instantaneous and you can see that slight gap there in the projectiles so this could actually be uh, used for something. I'm going to be messing around in the future now with this to try and find some uses for it. But it could be used for like a, a really, really quick double pulse because obviously it's immediately after it. So definitely some interesting property there I've never seen before. And then this uh, final demonstration here is to do with the top two lanes about how it affects the, uh, the, like the distance in between them affects it. So originally when I was testing this, I... Um, I couldn't put them next to each other because the pressure pads go on the left by default. I didn't actually forget that you can hammer pressure pads to go into other versions. So what I done was I um, I hammered them. So this is literally the closest they can be. Because otherwise, you know, like this doesn't work in any way. It's like a block. It's only a block gap for the pressure pad. And then the one underneath is uh, half the size, I guess you could say. Or, the, you know, there's twice as much space in between. So it's every other one. Has a has a pressure pad configuration. So what I'm going to do is, if you um, look at the end here, so the leftmost torch is for the top row, the middle torch is for the bottom row, and the rightmost torch is for the switch, which should be instant. So if I flick that there, I mean you can immediately see that the middle one, so the bottom row, was a lot slower than the other one. Um, and then there isn't much difference between. This large chain and then this uh, this switch. So I'm gonna do that again, and I'm gonna slow down the footage so you can see here. Turn it back on there. Now, yes, the reality is the switch is faster; it's instantaneous. So you'd think, why would you use anything else? However, if you think about it, um, I've actually got this this set up here so all the torches activate based on their pressure pad like block they're attached to. Um, and if you can see it ripple through it. You know, this allows for a really, really quick uh, pass-through or like a, you know, a series of activations which are almost instant. So it is like splitting up a near instant uh, activation into like tiny parts. And in fact, uh, this is an experiment for me personally. If you turn it on, you can see that the first one and maybe two, at least this is what I'm going by by uh, my vision, seems to activate instantly. Um, and then the rest seem to be like a frame or two behind, but again, I'm showing the slow motion footage now Hopefully so you should be able to see that So again, this is just some interesting properties just a quick video I, I probably will put this up somewhere on the team forums if that's still a thing um, I feel like somebody could probably do something with this as I say I'll be messing around with this in future um, I've just had the urge to play Terraria recently, so this is why I'm here and then also as well I was getting back in testing out hoiks with sharks and you know, you might see something else come with that in the future, because that's always funny. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching, I hope you learned something useful, and maybe somebody can do something really good with this. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, bye.